Man, I can't wait to get out of quarantine and get a haircut. I apologize for my hair. Hey, hey, it's Patrick Coyle, Artist in Progress. And I've had some conversations lately with people in which they seem almost embarrassed to admit they look at photos to help with their drawing. Someone even called it cheating. Is it? Let's dig in. Okay, so have you ever taken a drawing class? Did the teacher ask you to just draw everything from your memory? No, it's called drawing from life. You probably had a, uh, a model in there if you were drawing figures, or you had a still life of like some flowers and some other tchotchkes that you could draw just so you learn about lighting and shape and figures, right? It's the best way to learn until you have a really good idea of how things work and you can draw from your own imagination. But that takes a long time. Drawing from photos is no different than drawing from life. With the obvious caveat that you can't just get up, walk around, and go behind the photo to see how things look from a different angle. Drawing from videos is very helpful too. Maybe in some ways even better, particularly for things in motion or action shots. Sometimes things can feel a little stiff if somebody's posing in a photo. It just doesn't feel all that real. But all of this, using photos, video, drawing from real life, it's called using reference. And reference is your best friend as an artist. Artists have been using it since forever. You know those cave drawings of like the animals on the wall? The artist would run outside, take a look at the animal, run back in and paint on the wall. And he'd run back out, take another look at it, and run back in and paint on the wall again. I don't know if that's historically accurate, so you might wanna look that up. But artists really have been using reference for a long time. I know it's easy now to find online. You just go on that Googles and type in what you're looking for and it'll automatically show it to you. It might take you a little while to find the exact photo that you want to use, but it's super easy to find. And there's no excuse not to use reference these days. But pre-internet, artists had files and files of photos to use for reference. In the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, artists used to share studios and they would have filing cabinets full of photos that they would use. Artists of that era would frequently be doing multiple comics in a week and they would work on a romance comic, they would work on a sci-fi comic, they would work on a Western comic, and they don't have all that stuff right in their head, just ready to go. No, and we're talking about some of the finest artists in the medium who continue to influence comics to this day. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. It should be good enough for you. Now, none of this is to say that if you're using photos, you have to draw photorealistically. Using reference is a tool. Reference implies referring to something, not copying it. Most art is an abstraction of some kind. You might be thinking, I'm a cartoonist. I draw very simply. Why would I use a photograph for my cartooning? It goes back to the abstraction. You're just using the photo to get the sense of how something looks, just to get a gesture or to get some perspective or something that will help you improve and make it feel a little bit more accurate, even within its own cartoonish set of rules. Now, what if you trace your reference material? Is that cheating? Aha! Maybe. But that's a topic for another video. So back to the original question. The answer is no. Using reference for your art is not cheating. It's the way you should be working, frankly. It's how I work. In fact, there are some artists who actually use photos in their art. Kind of like a mixed media approach. Famous comic book artists like Jim Steranko, Jack Kirby, or John Byrne. Is that cheating? I'd say no. Transforming your reference material into something else or different is what makes something art. There's legal precedence for this too, if you're watching because you're worried about copyright infringement. And I'm not an attorney, so you might want to look that up just to be on the safe side. But what do you think? Do you use reference? If so, how? If not, why don't you use reference? Let me know down in the comments, won't you? And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up so other people like you can find it. And if you'd like to watch more of my videos, take a look at the ones listed here. You can check out some of my conversations with artists, or maybe check out some of my advice based on my personal experience. And as always, remember this, you don't suck, you just think you do, and you're wrong. Keep drawing, writing, welding, crocheting, or whatever, suckers. I'll see you next time. Peace.